Hi, right, welcome to Classic Car okay. Just a quick intro. So in this video, we're doing the uh, finishing, doing some work on the uh, Citroen pickup that we're making in, into a pickup. It was a Citroen car, a U11, A series U11. And I think it's around 1935. I'm not sure exactly. The good news is I've found a website for Citroen where uh, if I send a photograph and I send all the uh, tags, the body tags, the ID tags and that, I can get a, some kind of heritage certificate so I might be able to put it on the road which is good news. So basically this video is on the uh, Citroen uh, but just to let you know tomorrow uh, all day we're leaving around six o'clock in the morning trailers all ready, it's outside hooked up, we've got all the gear uh, to bring back from Hungary so the, the Jaguar XK150 should be back here tomorrow night everything going well, fingers crossed um, and uh, yeah, and I'll do a video during the week and, and uh, show you exactly what it looks like. So I hope you enjoy the video. Going on to a bit different part of the build. Um, so I bought these hinges. Obviously, there was, this was a whole piano hinge, and you can't buy them. Well, you could probably if I ordered them specially. So what I've done is I've made it up of all these same hinges I've used on the back. Um, so basically, I have to put a complete new side on it. This one's in bad condition, and this one on this side is completely gone. As you can see, there's nothing on it. So we've got to cut off the bad stuff and put a complete new 90 degree on that so we can weld it. But the idea is, as in the back, uh, this rod, I've obviously got tape on the end to stop these coming off. The idea is, is that we could lift the bonnet out um, and if we needed to we can do each individual piece because we can just then slide put it together slide the rod back in and get everything painted so that means we'll get the inside of the hinges painted outside and so on so that we can actually do them on the rod and we could take this apart the same as we can do with the two side pieces which have their own hinge in them which you can see there so um, and this one is in fairly good condition. This needs to have the new flange built on it here. But this one is in quite a sorry state. And it's going to take a lot of work to get this fixed up. I'll bring it around and show you. Excuse the bad camera work as usual. But just to give you an idea, you can see, you can see there how bad that is. end is there. There's virtually nothing left of it. And this is a wired edge on here. The top half, fortunately, is good. So are the hinges, but basically all this is going to have to be redone. Um, I mean, it's paper thin there. I can push it with my fingers in. You can see. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I could probably replate it on the inside, but it's going to look awful. So we'll see how it goes but to get these exactly right it's going to be quite a quite a task um, so we'll see what we can do with it and, but yeah it's quite a mess fortunately as I said the top half's good and all the vents I have for these is is all there and I think they were like a spring operated vent you just push them and they either half stayed open or quarter or whatever and uh, we'll see how we get on with that but in comparison that one there's some pieces that are bad on it but in comparison that's an awful lot better but this is going to be a lot of work to put a new flange all the way along there and I think this hinge will work um, obviously that's all got to be cleaned up as well and lead loaded but I think that will work with a hinge system on it like that let's see okay so I'll take these two on at the moment uh, but just to get an idea, and you can see how much I've only got that little gap, so um, they're just taped on. But just to give you an idea what it would look like, okay. And this is I'll put a, a rounded button on it like that, and obviously, this will all be covered by this uh, metal. So you can imagine you can just press it and up it comes. I think it looks quite nice, it look quite we can color it if we wanted to. But I think that'll, I think that'll work well. Should look good. Quite pleased with that idea. Okay, so this is one side that needs to be completely repaired. You can see it's absolutely wrong. So I may have made this piece up when I was away yesterday. Yeah, so I'm going to cut it off now. You can see this 
is the old piece that I took out, it's like a tea bag. And there's, there's a new piece in it there. I've got a new piece for it. So we've, got, we've left enough here to do the corners. And I'll use a, a, a blunted bolster, brick bolster, to, to get this to come down. You can see how it's making the corner round. But we'll go in there with a blunted bolster and get that nice and sharp edge on it. And it's got the right shape already, so yeah, we'll get rid of that piece of crap. You can see how bad the rust is on it. In some of the places you can just push through with your fingers. Look at this, look how thin that is. Anyway, so and uh, I'm starting on the bonnet now, just taking what was left of the edge on, on the bonnet. And I'm gonna make two angle iron one mil sections for the bonnet there and for the other piece there. I'll take the edge off that. Just to show you what's going on here. So I'm here just uh kind of showing the door. So I like this is he's made this edge now. This is all on in place. Um he's starting to make a back piece in there as you can see. So there'll be a lining in there all the way across, another one in the corner, as you can see. And then when you shut the door, obviously this will all be, this has only been welded, uh, but it'll be lead loaded. And as you can see, when you shut the door, a nice gap all the way down. But with the lead, we can, it's amazing what we can do with lead. Oh, we still must take it. So, so there's the uh, angle that I've made out of the one mil. That's actually going to sit on the other side. And I've taken the edge off the bonnet on both sides there and this is the second one I'm making now I don't have a brake big enough the brake the uh, metal brake I've got is quite small only 50 centimeters so I just made that up with a piece of angle iron and a box section and just bend it over it'll do the job okay so to finish up uh, just to let you see how we've gone on with this so you can see inside we've put extra brace in there in the middle um, and you can see how he's making this box section there's going to be another one at the top there to go around the window so that's the that will be the inside skin if you like and there's another one here in the corner which I showed earlier um, yeah um, and the reason we're keeping that obviously open is because the rubber will set up against that but what we'll do when we put the inside one we'll make it the same shape and we'll just put little uh, round corners in it we'll just use uh, one mil steel and make the corners round where it's square now if you see what, if you see what i mean uh but yeah it's coming on real nice so and then the, we do the back one um, and then put the top on and uh, We'll have to put the engine and the gearbox back in to make the floor because we're not, not exactly sure where the um, which way the floor is. The bit that I've got is in such a poor condition it would give us an idea but um, I'd rather put it back in and we can build around the gearbox and the engine. Um, so we won't be doing the engine up just now we'll just put it back in just, just so we can work to the to make the floor for the cab. Uh, and just get it running so we could move the vehicle if we needed to. And uh, yeah, uh, Amir's kind of a bit of an issue with these, but he's he's uh, changed the hinges on it for me now and moved them up. There's a little gap in them, so we've moved them around. So there'll be no work tomorrow. It's Sunday night. I'm putting this video up now, Sunday night. Obviously, I've pulled this back away while we're working on that. And as you can see, the garage is. Uh, these are the seats out of my Mercedes. Well, obviously, we've took everything out. We've got such a lot of gear to bring back. But basically, this is where the XK will be sitting tomorrow night. Uh, and I'll do a video on that, showing it coming back and getting it back in here. And I've just ordered myself, I should have got it before, but I've just ordered myself a, um, a cover for the XK150 made for it. And fortunately, I can get it within two or three days because we want to try and get as much work on this done, the welding work we can do on this now before we uh, uncover the jag, because I don't want dust and shit on the on brand new paintwork, so it'll be sat there, but covered for a, for a little while. So, 
the car, the trailer is on the on the car, and we're leaving at six o'clock tomorrow morning to Hungary. So I'll uh, do a video and I'll probably put it up during the week. But hopefully everything goes well. The paint job's as good as it looks in the photos, and we have no issues. I'll pay the guy the rest in cash, and uh, hopefully the jobs are good. And so on that note. Stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby, and hopefully you'll see a, uh, a video on on the car back, the XK, the Jaguar XK150 back here. Take care, be good to each other. Bye for now.